Welcome to one of the most difficult builds I have ever done. This is not only just a timber frame, geothermal greenhouse, completely non-standard, but it's done all with scrap wood. Normal timber frame structures start with professionally cut timbers, six by eights, six by sixes, eight by eights. Um, I had logs that my neighbor had in his yard for about 20 years after he built his log cabin and a bunch of random boards of different cut widths and lengths and whatnot that I turned into 6x8s and 6x6s. Many of them were cracked, much like this one was. And I turned that into things like this, where I filled the gaps and cracks spent many, many hours. In fact, it's completely impossible to describe to you the entire process. It is the middle end, towards the end of October 2020, and I started at the beginning of April 2020. I've never built a timber frame structure in my life, and I practiced by building a miniature replica of this greenhouse and turned it into a doghouse. This took me a month. A month of miniature practice with a lot of experimental ideas like insulated concrete to make these puppers happy. They really like it. And it turned out nice. This doghouse could withstand a hurricane. I'm convinced of it. But the point is to make a structure that will withstand Wyoming wind and will grow fruit, vegetables, microgreens, whatever. So I learned the craft with hand tools. This framing chisel, framing slick is just an example of some specialty tools that go into making a structure like this. It also helps to have some friends. <clears throat> when you gotta put it together, you cannot put together this structure by yourself. You need friends. You need a community. And like me, I've never built anything like this before. I've done some renovations on property but I've never built the full structure. I have no particular training in it. I have no one really guiding me. I'm reading books and watching videos and learning and thinking. And when it gets very difficult and I feel like I'm about to sink or I'm weighing over my head, I step back and I realize my purpose. I think about why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to help provide food for my family in case the grocery stores don't let us in without a vaccination ID or some other silly nonsense. And also because something in my personality makes me want to do incredibly difficult tasks the hardest way imaginable. Um, I guess that's why I chose to do it out of scrap wood. I've never even heard of anybody making a timber structure starting with was it three by 18s gluing them together and then ripping them down into six by eights um, I just knew that it would work and it's working nicely I combined modern bolts and L brackets for a couple places to ensure that it stays together and is stable and safe so that my mom or my father who were in their 70s and 80s if they were to walk in here on a windy day there's no chance that it will collapse in on them. That's another purpose for building it like this, this strong timber, six by eights. I don't have $20,000 to buy a kit from the, the man that I learned about geothermal greenhouses from in Nebraska called Greenhouse in the Snow. Check them out if you get a chance. 
but essentially I'm doing what he's doing. I have this footprint for the greenhouse dug about three feet down at one end into a hill. So down there at that far end, it's going to be over, I think, 10 feet underground because it's cut into the hill. That's a lot of thermal mass. It's positioned in such a way that that won't reduce any amount of sunlight coming into the greenhouse. The roof will stick up over, I think, 15 feet. Hit me on the top of it. And there will be more videos to come with finishing out the build of this. I decided to make this into a little bit of a series. I'm not aware of anything quite like this that's ever been done, except for maybe one other video I saw on YouTube of a guy in Australia building something, or New Zealand, wherever he's from. It looks amazing. Um, if I remember, I'll add that link. But yeah, like I said, make friends, build stuff. Learn new skills. Grow your way out of Babylon. Build. Do not despair. Have faith. Your creator put you here for a purpose. And difficulty isn't a curse. Difficulty will shape you. It will harden your spirit. Now is a great time to build. It's even better when you bring back older building methods. I think a lot of people look at the way things are built now how it's all done for speed and efficiency and cost over the aesthetic the history the level of skill it takes to build it the community that's required to put some such a thing together so it's a good time to reconnect with those older ways of life and if you've seen guys like Asher Logos and others on YouTube that describe what was in our civilization you'll know instantly the value of this so stay tuned as we continue this project we'll see you guys later